Hey guys, welcome back to this channel for Peace Dealer. I am doing your November reading for Air Ascendance. So let's get straight into the reading. If you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Bora. I read energy and I'm gauging this to your ascendant sign because it's a valuable aspect in your chart that will help your ascension. So let's get into your reading. Your focus for this month is resolving this really polar trauma that you had from your past and your current circumstances. So if I could just split your past in a very flattened out dimension of timelines, this is going to resonate to just a few of you, not just a few, but just a small percentage of you that, so if you don't resonate with this month, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's a number of you who have memory of basically being able to wield your mental body in a way that came straight from higher densities and it allowed you to manifest a childhood of abundance and security stability even if you had moments of earthly experiences that are not of this vibration you first came here and you experienced i guess this level of manifestation that was uncanny for a kid that's what i have and it was very happy very um empowered and you kind of had this respect from your peers, from your environment, um, even if it was conditional, like if even if the love was conditional, it was all there for you. And then you moved into a timeline where that all kind of broke apart. And it was the part of it was because of your intuitive empath abilities and your kind of tapping into the collective morphogenic genetic field so even if you have excuses as to what events triggered a, a way of the downfall from this state of absolute empowerment um so this this was like this was the beginning of your life then right now i'm reading for the next phase which was more recent um because you're tapping into the human collective more and more that ended up kind of bleeding into your own emotional field which then caused this lack of consciousness um, straight from like absolute independent div divinity to this state of abandonment issues and that's not your fault it was simply because you were your your master empath and your intuitive and you know no matter how divine you come onto this planet and how long you can sustain this vibration of heaven on earth once you get programmed into this society not only just the programming but just being here physically 
um, took a toll on your your complex because you were dipping into the, the pool oops sorry um, and so if there's a certain event that you think triggered this downfall or uh, forgetfulness or not being able to remember your divinity um, it's not actually shouldn't be anchored onto that but just the fact that you started living on this dimension and even if you did all that you could you would have eventually done this because of your intuitive abilities so what you're doing now is dipping out of that and you're not just dipping out of that you're actually like being catapulted out of it um basically this is what's occurring in the near future and it's it's i mean these energies they should all be interweaved so there is no clear boundaries between the three rows but for the first time probably like ever my council asked me to split it up into past, present, and future, which is something that I never do because I don't like to impose the linear timeline, but this is basically what came up. So you have, this is the past, which was your divine state as a child. You probably had all these psychic abilities, all the, all the manifestation capacities, creative sparks. Then it came here because of your... Um, emotional kind of abilities this feminine receptivity and emotions you started attuning to regret was one of the first things that you ever felt on this dimension and regret and kind of resentment energy comes from this lack of linear time I mean this misperception of time and this notion of lacking time results in regret because you feel like not you but people feel like once something is gone then it's totally gone because they have this lack consciousness about time so one of the first thing that you had a hard time kind of digesting as an emotion was lack of consciousness and um you know abandonment issues and regret so many of you will have a clear memory of encountering the emotion of regret for the first time and how uncomfortable it felt for you so basically you lived it out lived it out but look what's happening you have the tower you have the chariot and the death if you could just choose three of the most transformative energies it would have been this tower death and chariot tower is breaking apart but you know it it can be uncomfortable depending on what's breaking apart but what's breaking apart is this row you're getting it transformed out of this row so isn't that awesome this is breaking it's like literally turning into ashes right now and you're moving forward and death also is transformation and it's funny because death is what i said it's like the the notion of regret is like stemming from this artificial illusion that your life once lived you have death and that's the end of everything and then people just start regretting decisions because of this illusion of death as being some kind of final chapter but that's also moving as well so on the bottom of your deck thankfully is the ace of cups so that means that all of these artificial illusions are being replaced with this divine kind of feeling and if you know anything about you know emotions and even the moon is not it it's a sub reflection of the real thing which is feelings or intuition so emotions being this artificial kind of Ill, you know movement of energy it's not the most holistic movement of energy um it's it's borrowed from this lunar force as well so once you can generate and tune into this solar emanation which just popped out um this this is what's catapulting this movement and you know you might have memories of your childhood you know whoops basically fond memories right 
very fond memories of being able to manifest certain things and you might have you know nostalgia about it or whatnot and rather these i guess nostalgia is the right word for it but basically whatever you remember your childhood to be if you ever um thought that it was the best it was ever going to get and somehow you're kind of tainted with these you are actually moving on to manifest realities that are hyper real versions of these like this was not even close to what you're going to manifest now so this applies to i, I like i said some of you not everyone's going to be able to resonate with this but i'm guessing that if you're sticking around for 10 minutes then this resonates for you so i'll end it off with some oracle cards This phone is probably really loud, right? This card just doesn't stop popping up. This twin flame card. So I think that part of your future kind of energy will definitely manifest in a twin flame relationship. But look, I always talk about how your twin flame on a physical level is only a external reflection of the alignment you have with your higher self. That's basically what I tell anybody who's ever asking about the twin flame. So it's always an internal click clickage first. And even if you see this card you see this human with this this ascended angel that is you know representing this higher self figure so i i do think that this will reflect like this new paradigm of this lovers oh my god the lovers came out as well right so definitely it's it's not that oh my god and look what's on here it's this two of cups you're kidding me so definitely a romantic relationship could be possible or like a renewal of a romantic relationship is definitely possible but don't forget that this is just a reflection of this internal alchemy that you've been doing um and it's a divine reflection on this third density i mean why would why even bother with this twin flame relationship if you're so complete on the inside is that this is a blessing that you only get to experience in this third density or third dimension is this absolute divine union being reflected into one person like that would only happen in the third dimension you know what i mean like no other dimension will it manifest in such a polaric way so enjoy it while it lasts because this is your last kind of i mean it's not the last thing but it's it's definitely a unique experience that you want to have so enjoy that base chakra law of attraction um your health is definitely improving and it's it's all because you're doing this internal alchemy with your higher self and you know your higher self when you are merging with your higher self basically what happens is you can continue to download a version of yourself that is a halfway point between you and your higher self which is constantly a version of yourself that is the most aligned and you constantly get this download of that that's what happens when you're aligned internally and doing this internal alchemy um manifests as that kind of holographic package or your ideal self that will visit you in dreams and whatnot but basically this this merging with your ideal reality is cleansing your your base chakra so i, I see your health improving health improving finances improving um in a very very diligent manner and as a result you are attracting situations and activities that are completely different from what you would have enjoyed maybe two months ago one month ago like so don't be surprised if you find yourself like to be a completely different person or if you have this complete new self-image you know what i mean um 
just nourish that and give yourself some patience over the next month to really let your body catch up to the energetic work that you've been doing so a good thing to do would be not to associate too much in social situations because clearly your physical body is going through a lot of transformations so it would be good to have a physical boundary for the time being and i'm not talking about a, a like a long time maybe just this month or the um next few weeks uh, respect the fact that your body is catching up to this internal alchemy and I think eventually that will come out as a either a renewed relationship or a new relationship that is like the most twin flame thing like I mean <sighs> but remember what I said about my definition of a twin flame not that you have to adopt that perspective as well but at least like when I'm giving you this reading take on that perspective for the time being so thank you so much for tuning in i hope that this has been helpful thank you so much for your feedback and let me know if you have any comments or questions i look forward to hearing from you and have the best month ever bye